Neil Young has some, some hundreds of really neat tunes, and a lot of them are really neat for, or cool for many different reasons. We're going to take a look at Thrasher that is about as simple as it gets in terms of a chord progression. He of course does this on a 12 string guitar, and so you hear, you hear the little extra sparkle of 12s. Capo to the second fret. Now in the, when we get into the lesson, I'll, we'll take the capo off. Matter of fact, we'll take the capo off now, because we're going to do this lesson without a capo. But put it at the second fret if you want to play along with him. Uh, all kinds of great videos of him playing this live, usually, usually just by himself with, uh, on the 12 string guitar. And very simple strumming thing, all chords in the key of C. Uh, again, a great example of how you can just put together a neat story and a, and a, simple, and a simple chord progression. Uh, the lyrics are kind of uh, intriguing. It appears to be uh, about sort of him heading off without Crosby, Sills, and Nash. And, and so I think that they that they keep referring to in here, uh, they, you know, hiding behind hay bales and planting the full moon and doing things that don't always necessarily make sense. Uh, so it was time for him to get out of there. So anyway, think about the chords in the key of C and maybe watch the video of, of Neil playing it and you could probably figure out what's going on. Just a few little hammer-ons and some of his typical ways of bringing in some chords. But we'll just talk about some of the, the little embellishments that he throws in on, on certain chords. So first we'll take a look at the chords and we'll take a look at the progression and then you should be able to play Thrasher. We're going to see all the normal chords in the key of C, starting with the C chord, and sometimes Neil will alternate the bass on that C chord down to G, you know, alter and sometimes he'll do little hammer-ons on, on the D, from D to E. So the strumming is basically just hitting a bass note on the first beat and keeping a little down and up pattern going. It doesn't really matter. You don't want to be thinking down, down, up, 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 that kind of stuff here. Just keep your hand moving, and when it's time to hit a bass note, get one. That usually is on the first beat of the measure. 